You see this? This right here is the reason why I do not walk my dogs in the suburbs any longer. This right here is exactly what goes down in the suburbs. I used to sit and take my dogs to that particular area because I like the view of what the houses look like and everything. And you would think or even expect that in this particular area, you wouldn't run into this type of problem. But I ran into this type of problem every single time with these exact same breeds of dogs. It was either a gold retriever, a black lab, or a standard poodle. Every single time. I would sit and take my dogs into these neighborhoods and walk the neighborhood because I know it's quiet. And damn near every single time, one of them dogs would get loose. And they would get loose while their owner's outside. And when their owners would see this here, they wouldn't even come to the rescue. They would look at the dog, holler at the dog, and watch the dog try to engage. It has been countless times I've had to pick up my dog and turn around in a circle like a damn top, trying to keep them from getting on their dog's ass. Because for one, I don't even live in this neighborhood. Two, I shouldn't be in this neighborhood with this type of dog because this particular dog, I can pretty much tell you, even though it's not a rule, it's like an unwritten rule. They don't belong here. And I knew for a fact, don't let nothing happen to what they got or what I have. But this would happen every single time. And the owners would sit and walk their asses up slow as hell to try and get their dog. If for some reason they just could never grab their dog, they could never get it, get it under control. It was always, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, all the time. I tried to warn you at the beginning. Every, every single time. I just quit coming to these neighborhoods. I expect this where I stay. I expect this where I stay. But what I do expect where I stay is the fact of whatever dog come out, they're not finna come out on some territorial stuff. They finna come out on some attacking shit. See, this dog came out territorial. He came out chest up, just ready to bump up. Had that been any other breed of dog or even a more aggressive or even dominant breed of Dobermans, that dog would have been screaming and hollering. He came out there just only trying to show dominance. And if any one of those Dobermans would have been able to be as dominant or if they was more aggressive, they'd have had this big ass dog screaming and hollering. And if he wasn't going to be screaming and hollering, a whole lot of fur moving. I'm telling you this here, people, Please keep them damn curs under control, especially in the suburban areas. Please keep those dogs under control because the last thing you want to do is pay for a vet bill when it's your own fault. And if you end up running into another dog that's not necessarily dominant, but is actually dog aggressive, that's going to be a hefty vet bill you're going to have to pay. And whoever has that dog aggressive dog, I can assure you, y'all probably won't never see that person again. So this is just your boy Nick Love and the K9 Pro C trying to help y'all out today. Keep them dogs on the leash, especially in the suburban areas because that's where they're more you know, loosely lacked. Just be more mindful of that. But until then, holler at you boys later. Peace out. <laughs>